My name is Manuel Sanchez and I'm a full-time real estate agent in San Diego. I've always wanted a place where I could call my own, a creative space where I could do YouTube videos and film market updates for my clients. And up until now, I've never really had this and I absolutely love the way it turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So this was my desk setup from a few months ago. I just threw a desk in the guest bedroom and it wasn't really much. It wasn't very creative space. The walls were yellow. There was no LED lights. As you can see, uh, my desk hasn't really changed that much. It's still the same desk, still the same computer. I just had a mess and it just didn't look as clean. I threw up a TV on the side thinking I was just gonna watch YouTube videos all day and then found out it was very distracting. I put in some shelves just to decorate it a little bit and just threw on their souvenirs that I bought along uh, in the past few years as well as merchandise that I have for my clients and it just it looked cool but I never really loved it and like I said didn't feel my own because it was a guest bedroom the bed was big and it just didn't go with the office and as you can see I used the bed as a second desk when I decided to renovate everything, I knew exactly how I wanted it. I knew from the paint color to the shades. I kept a lot of the same stuff from the shelves, which I put LED lights in the back, the same desk, the same computer. And I think it all really fit in really well together. And it's just a really creative space that I can call my own. It works great for video recording and this way I could send market updates to my clients. I bought a ring light, which has worked absolutely awesome. And I use my iPad as a monitor so I can read off the market update to my clients. It's just a good setup to have. Like I said, my desk hasn't changed that much. I did put it in a blackboard, a glass blackboard where I could write on. I've always wanted one of these. And again, I decided to put in some LED lights in the back just to make it look uh, more YouTube-ish, if you want to call it. I bought this one on Amazon. It was fairly cheap. It was like $50. Uh, for the sake of this video, I decided to erase the buyers and sellers just for their own privacy. But I absolutely love the board and I like having it next to my desk where I can easily see it. Still using the same keyboard and trackpad from Apple. Still using the same um, leather mat that I bought on eBay. I think it was like $18. The LG 4K display has been great, have no troubles with it. And the computer, I decided to put it up on a Belkin stand just for a cleaner look on the desk. My reading light looks great. It's uh, low light, so it's easy to read a book. My desk is still the same one. I bought it off of Amazon. I think it looks good. I could always use a bigger desk, but this one works just fine. Uh, there used to be a drawer underneath of where you slide in. I decided to take that out since I don't like sitting pretty low on my desk. So uh, this just works better without the drawer underneath. I used to have a Herman Miller chair that I absolutely loved and completely regret selling. But I found this one on Amazon and kind of looks like a Herman Miller. Not even close to the comfort level, but it will work. I changed out the wheels on it. The plastic wheels that it came with were just too cheap and these ones roll better on hardwood and on the rug plus they're a lot more quiet the tv i decided to throw up on the corner it just works better i don't use it as often and when i do i could see it from my desk and i could see it from the couch so it just works better up in the corner my shelves is probably one of the best things that i bought it works great for a backdrop on my youtube videos and I threw on some LED lights in the back. I just put out some stuff that I love and some cool collectibles. And like I said, it just works great for a backdrop on YouTube videos. I have my merchandise on there that I can display and my Legos that I like to build. Um, at the end of the day, it's still a bookshelf. So I do have a few of my favorite books on there. Um, most of them I've already read. So they just there as display. When it comes to the wall, I knew I didn't want just one big painting. So I decided to buy more shelves and throw on the souvenirs that I 
have from vacations I've taken. And as far as artwork, I found this artist online where she draws out blueprints of famous TV homes. And I thought it was a great idea. It went well with real estate. Uh, most of these homes are from the Friends TV show. Uh, you can see here Joey and Chandler's apartment in New York. And I just think it went really well with real estate and art. And I love the way they look in the room. The couch I got at Ikea, um, it works great. It turns into a bed and it has storage underneath. So if people are over, they can always sleep on the couch. And it, like I said, it's pretty comfortable. It's easily turned into a bed. Um, I think it takes me here like 10 seconds, 15 seconds max to turn into a bed. The backrest falls down and it's a bed. I've never slept on it, so I don't know exactly how comfortable it is. But if a guest is over, it's good because that way they, if it's uncomfortable, they probably won't stay for long. But I tried it out a little bit, pretty comfortable, works for me. And like I said, it does have storage underneath. I just have some pillows and some blankets in there, but there's plenty of storage for other things. All in all, I think the whole office, I absolutely love the way it turned out from the paint to the the new curtains to the desk in the same place. It gets natural light in and it works great for a creative space. I absolutely love it. It just uh, makes time spent in here a lot better. And like I said, it's just a creative space where I just, everything flows a lot better. So that was it. That was the home office tour, desk setup, however you guys want to call it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, most of the stuff that you saw in the video is available to purchase. So I put the link down below. Uh, and for the things I couldn't find, I'm sorry. I just didn't know where I purchased them. Uh, anyways, hopefully you guys liked it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.